I'm guessing you've all come to help me unload, yes? Look at this one, look. Smothered in flies. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much, not so much. But look at her, look. Why is she the only one that's smothered in flies? Probably because she hasn't been to the garlic bucket yet. Giving them a bit of hay because they've, uh, there isn't a lot here for them. Right, so the old man comes around the cattle every, well, every day, every morning. He spends the morning going around the cow, counts the numbers. We have just feed them some nice green hay, uh, just a supplement really. There's still enough here for them to uh, graze on and it won't do them any harm either because we don't want them getting too fat really. But there's a couple of bales in there to keep them happy. Count up the calves, count up the cows, count the bull, obviously. I, I showed you this and, uh, and it's clearly starting to work already. It doesn't work on them all, as you can see, uh, but um, the ones that do go to the pot, it does work on and uh, it must give them a, a nice bit of relief uh, because this time of year, it is pretty horrible for flies. While we're here, we check the water as well going to get hot over the next few days 35 maybe 40 degrees they're talking charlie was here last night topping up the water we just have a little look and see how much is left and it's all gravity fed on a low pressure uh, watercock and uh, yes have a little look here they're both joined together so you fill one up it fills the other up that one's pretty good i just want to check that other one means uh, or got me myself in here. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, nice. And. Have a look. Whoa, I need fellow. Oh, yeah, full of water. That's good. They've also got a uh, little stream that isn't quite. Uh, yeah, there's a little water source here, a little pond, which isn't completely dry. And cows will drink out of the most filthiest water. They're not like humans. They don't need the cleanest of clean. They can drink out of anywhere. They can eat out of anywhere. They're uh, pretty unique. We come and check these. We make sure they, the water's good every single day, especially when it's hot, because they will consume a serious amount of water. They'll go through both of these tanks here, which are two and a half thousand liters each, I would imagine, or 2000 liters, something like that. Uh, they'll go through those in, um, in a couple of days when it's not hot. So when it's hot, they actually go through even more. Uh, that's, uh, get out of here our job is done it comes up just gives them a bit extra keep them uh, keep them going the right way weight wise we want them to uh, increase in weight they'll be over here in a shot but basically calves can come in cows come out because this bar and the calves can feed in there stops the cows eating it all because the cows will have it if you don't look out. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> you gonna help me hook on? You gonna help me hook on? You gotta follow me in there, okay? Yeah, just follow me. Follow me in there and we'll um I just gotta hook the tether on. Thank you. Get him with the boy! Come up to see us, haven't you? Yeah. And this is, uh, you haven't been tedding yet, have we? We ain't done no tedding yet. We've, uh, you've been at school, haven't you? Just on school holidays now. Poor old mum's got seven weeks of it. <laughs> Who's that lunatic going around the field? That's Keithy's son. Just passed his test today. He's a bit shy. Well done, David. Mate, you are late. Huh? They've been bailing ages. Well, somebody's what? been very busy. Have you? Yeah. What, drinking tea? No, I have had one cup of tea today. No, I've been tedding. I've not got all by myself. It's a belter of a day. 26 degrees, perfect haymaking weather. This is the last time this season we're probably going to get to do this. So we'll have a little look around. We've got Daisy on the baler. on the old 6270. He's 
tractors just sound sweet all the time. Really reliable, why we keep them on the farm. The hay is lovely and thin, absolutely perfect. Comes a bear, we check attention. Attention's pretty good. Throughout the day, they'll be jumping off and on. There's a little nozzle on the back. Just turn it if you want to increase the tension, and then you turn it back if you want to decrease the tension. We try and keep the bales the same length because we got Collins baler here as well. Young Charlie's on it. It's all the girls today. Charlie on the other one, Linda on the packer, the 6290. Listen to that. It's just proper, isn't it? I'll, I'll give Linda the head cam in a minute. You can go for a ride with Linda. Door opens. We had one of these breaks. Last time around. We loads them in. concentration with that machine loads 14 into a pack the trick is to have a nice tight bale with those trying to keep both balers the same is the key to it all but um, it's hard work you know they can't keep getting off and on the balers young Charlie's coming down now so we'll uh, we'll have a little look at her her setup she's borrowed the uh, borrowed the baler from Colin Colin's doing his own hay I think today so uh, young Charlie's gonna sit on it Uncle Franklin's in the next field, he's rowing up again. Poor old boy, he has had no respite. He has had two weeks of non-stop rowing up. I think it's more than that now. I think we're on to week three. Where the end is in sight. I think there is some bits and pieces left to do back at home. Another four or five days and we will be mostly cleared up for hay. And uh, it's been nice to do it in one big chunk. Uh, we had a couple of starts and stops which is annoying because you, you sort of get going then you have to stop but it's been pretty good charlie's on the 7718 can't use guidance on this job charlie two's time because as the day goes on the hay gets lighter and lighter fitter we say fitter it means basically the hay's getting lighter so you need a tighter string around the bale if you don't do that the bales then feel slack it gives the packer problems and yeah and it's the same getting towards the evening when the dew starts coming in some evenings you don't get it but you just got to keep checking your bales making sure the strings are the right tension just check another one 
they're pretty good the old man's filling us up a trailer he's got a few trailers up here to go at so we've got a little bit of time i'll give you a ride on with linda she won't want to do it you might hear some swearing bang on they are the old man will pick them up there'll be a little gap between the bales that's how we like them like it lets the heat out if there's any heat built up inside every time you move them just lets the heat out keeps the bales good uh, little things little things add up to a big difference especially when you're putting them in the shed temperatures are going to get up this weekend 37 to 40 degrees celsius you will see it all it will be hot no swearing no. Check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kinda miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Happy with the simple life Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is pregnant paycheck just had a problem with Daisy's baler. It wasn't tying one of the knots. The old man's here. I wouldn't have known what to do. God knows what we'll do if <laughs> we're ever without him. Yeah, I'll take that one home. I'll bring you another one. I've got straps there. Yeah. He's straight in there. He's unhooked. The, he's untied the knotted system. He's underneath the baler. He's a madman. He, he just knows what to do, but I need to know what to do. Um, but anyway, the old man saved the day on that one. Daisy's back going again. Yo! I'll leave my trailer until last, you see. Yeah. Um, Charlie will take over, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, she'll hook that one on. As long as I leave it until last. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll, I'll get you another one. Right, he's on my case. I've got to go and get another trailer. <laughs> he's a remarkable old boy. All right, we're going to get a trailer hooked on now, go back to the farm, bring back another trailer, and by the time we get back here, the old man will have another two ready for us. So I imagine uh, the farm will be back at home unloading a couple. Uh, Uncle Franklin's road up next door, and uh, if we want any more later, there's plenty of us up here, the rake's here. So all we got to do is jump on the rake and row up some more if we need to. I imagine we'll need a couple more rows here and there. And uh, yeah, Daisy's going again. Bales are coming out nice again. Help. The old man's out there. He'll be out there till late tonight. He's just, uh, he's an absolute unit. Um, 80, he's 83 next month. 
I always go on about it, but I just find that remarkable. And even for his age, he's still, he was under that baler, I got a picture, he's under the baler, tying knots up, tying strings up, just remarkable. A rare thing has just happened, I'm not joking. This is in real life, I'm telling you the truth. Linda, the packer woman, has just asked for more rows. She must be loving it out there today. Did I read your mind? Yeah. Lynn said eight, so I'll do ten. <laughs> Charlie's got problems with Collins Baylor. So we're not going to go too crazy with this. We are going to cut ourselves a, another section. Which goes to, we're going to go up one of these rows here and we will see where that takes us for the evening big bale is coming tomorrow to uh, finish up so whatever we don't get done tonight uh, the big baler will finish tomorrow hay is super fit row it very straight is it that must have been the tether man putting in wonky lines she's been strapping her trailer for the last quarter of an hour i have managed to get a load on and strap it and she's still not strapped so i have to go and rescue again i'll put my lights on i'll put you the, i'll put the rescue lights on the rescue lights are on. Don't worry, Charlie, I'm coming. That's all right, we'll put it around this bottom one. This, um, this one will be all right. We'll just go around this bottom. That's where I'd have it, yeah, 100%. We'll go around there. I would literally go around this bottom bale like that because the angle, yeah, literally on the top string around there like that. And that will not go anywhere, I, wasn't I promise sure you. Push it I would go, one I would even go with that one, but we'll get this one on there and it won't move a muscle then. Yeah, I'd rather right? put one on than. No, if you've got a strap, you put a strap on, because uh, you'd only moan it yourself if you uh, didn't, wouldn't you, eh? Yes. You got it? Strap rubbish. So you broke Colin's baler. I didn't break Colin's. Then I beat you putting straps on. Huh? Did you have your lunch yet? No. Do you know what happened with that? I had salad, and it went funny in the heat. Um, so. Yeah. So I haven't eaten that, and it, you can have it if you want it. Uh, no, thank you. No. You go nice slip way. Are you going thirty-four? Nice slip. Oh, oh, you were one of the boys, didn't you? Yeah, you one can, of the boys. Of course, can. I go ice slip. Well. Here comes Keithy Lutt on his new upgraded AS. I mean, sorry, sixty-four eighty with sprayer front tank. Suits you. Suits you. <laughs> We might not have to come back. That might be it for the evening. Big bale are coming tomorrow to finish up. So there'll be some big bales to pick up tomorrow. We've got a little bit more hay down closer to home. And then once that's done, that might be getting towards the end of it. But I hope you've enjoyed the, um, the hay videos and the next ones coming up will be harvest, which is a rare event for us to actually be doing harvest videos without haymaking as well. Last year we were haymaking and harvesting and uh, well, it, it, things just got a bit out of hand in the end. I, did, I couldn't even record anything. It was just crazy. So we're just following Charlie home. And for someone who's only 17 years old, not very much experience on the road. She, uh, she doesn't drive too bad. She is uh, hoping to get her driving license uh, this year and we've been giving her the smaller trailers so we let her carry the rigid ones we don't let her do the arctic ones uh, just in case you do get up in a jam and you do sometimes uh, you'll get up in a jam somewhere and you've got to maneuver the trailer and it's um, it's just a little bit more difficult with these big ones with those rigid ones she knows what she's doing 
and uh, to be fair with even with the um the bogey wheel ones the ones that we've the articulated ones she's pretty good with them as well so she won't be a bad driver when she's done look at this graph we got this last year you watch it'll all go wrong now look at that three at a time A bit of a handful you've got to know what you're doing on farmers done all the unloading in they go that is harder than it looks to build a big stack and keep them square and keep them right without them falling as well They get run over. Look at the evening, beautiful, isn't it? Bloody hell. That is it's mad, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's about time, Linda. Always last, didn't you? Eh? Yeah. Have you broken anything else or is it alright? This was rock then, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got a picture of it actually broken. Yeah. He did a nice fix on that, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he did, brilliant. Now, there is 4,000 bales, we've done 5,600. Like what, in two days? Yeah. How many did you do today compared to yesterday? Not today. No. No, we're about, I don't know, 30 packs, 35 packs shy. Yeah. But then we were back at one bailer again. Yeah, we're going to take it home for you, Lynn. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then there's just getting towards the end of it, aren't we, nearly? No, because it keeps finding more. Yeah, I know, getting there, though. No, do not believe that. <laughs> Some of the grass, all down that. Listen, we're done when we're done. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs>